Okay, so you want to have a go at LinkedIn Live and use Ecamm, of course. Well, it's not quite as straightforward as you might think, unfortunately. So we're going to cover in this video exactly what you need to do, and I'll explain why. Now, it's a little bit misleading because you can look at your destinations here and LinkedIn is available, but you don't have an opportunity to schedule, create an event. The only option you get if you go straight out of Ecamm is this button down here that says go live and it will just start your live stream right now. Now, that might be okay, but there's another big deal here. If you go live straight out of Ecamm, you aren't going to get the chat come back in. And that's a big no-no for me. Now, I guess Ecamm are in talks with LinkedIn and trying to get this integration working properly. It's kind of there, but it's not a way that I'm using it at the moment. But don't despair, we absolutely can do this and tick all the boxes of what we want, but we do need to go back to Restream. Now, if you haven't used Restream already, it's a platform that we use for multi-streaming. So if I wanted to go out to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitch, all at the same time, I can do by sending Ecamm into Restream and then Restream sends it out to all those different channels. But actually, if I just wanna to go to LinkedIn, I still need to go through Restream currently. So I'm not looking at LinkedIn down here. I'm going to go to Restream and notice now that I've got options to go live now if I want. Uh, I've got one scheduled here or I can hit New Restream Event. And when I tick on that, it's just opened up Restream over here. And so what I do is it takes me to my events window and I can click over here, create an event we're going to say uh, Restream Studio. Now I should just back up a second, sorry, before I get through this. If you haven't got a Restream account, we've put a link in the description below. Really is worth getting anyway, because I think streaming out to multiple platforms is a big deal. And currently we can't do that inside of Ecamm. So if this is important to you and you want to go out to LinkedIn, uh, I definitely recommend that you go down this route and use Restream as well. Right, let's just get back into it. Now we want to put a title in. Uh, this is my first live. I'm going to put a bit of a description in. I can change this afterwards. Something like this, uh, except you probably would spell better than me. Um, <laughs> I didn't do well at all there, did I? I put my date in. It's a nice platform navigation for doing this. I want to do it today. And uh, I'm going to go at five o'clock. Yes, very cleverly. It's already telling me I've already got an event at five o'clock today. So uh, let's push it back an hour to 6 p.m. I would upload a thumbnail image here and it would just ask me to go off and find a thumbnail. Actually, let's just grab one of these for now. Pop it in there. I would hit next. And it says to me, if you've got multiple destinations set up, you can see on here, I've got my YouTube account. I've got other accounts. This is uh, Ecamm's YouTube account as well. I can turn off where I don't want it to go. I want it to go to my Facebook page. Don't want it to go to my group don't want it to go to my personal profile. I want it to go to LinkedIn and potentially Twitter as well. Uh, do know that Twitter doesn't bring that chat back through at the minute, even into Restream. So I might turn that one off unless I'm prepared to open up Twitter. Uh, in fact, I'm going to turn them all off apart from LinkedIn. What I would do then is just confirm my time down here and click create event. I'm not going to do it because it's going to post it out there and I'm going to confuse people. Uh, but that's how you do it. As you can see, when I now come back over to Ecamm, it would look like this. See, I've got one that's due in 53 minutes and it will count me down. And when that gets to zero, I'm going to click that blue button to start my live. And the chat comes through into my comments down here and away I go. I have found this to be a little bit glitchy. There have been times, in fact, just yesterday we went live. We've been doing these daily top tips. Owen was looking in and he said to me, it's not actually coming out. The event was there, but there was nothing happening on the feed. But previously we've done it and we've gone live to there at the same time as other channels and uh, the chat's been coming through from others and I thought, there's not a lot of chat coming from LinkedIn. When I looked over there, there were comments in, but it wasn't bringing them in. So I think LinkedIn, we're only just being allowed to go live over here and I think there's still some work to be done. You know, I'm going out to multiple channels here at once and if this is an important live that you're doing, rather than just going out to LinkedIn, 
if you went as a backup over to Facebook or to YouTube as well, maybe if you're thinking, I don't seem to be getting people coming on here, you could have LinkedIn open and at the worst, if need be, you could grab your URL from the YouTube feed, send it over there and say, sorry guys, this isn't working over here. Please come and join us over on YouTube. You wouldn't want to, but uh, it's there as a last resort. Now, my understanding is that anyone can get it now. And uh, if you jump over to LinkedIn, here's uh, my profile. If I come up here and just hit view profile, and um, it wasn't where I was expecting it to be. I've seen people showing their dashboard and I'm thinking, I can't see my dashboard. So whether this is a recent update, but look right under here. So here's my uh, top details, analytics, and then under resources, creator mode. If you've got creator mode turned off, then click to turn the creator mode on. And when you turn creator mode on, it allows you to live stream. Now, I'm not quite sure whether you've got to do something else in between that. I've heard people saying that's all you have to do. And when you go back to Restream and you log in for LinkedIn, it should now accept that. So we're in early days really with LinkedIn, but I have to say when it has worked uh, and we've put them side by side, we really like the experience on LinkedIn. I think it's a very nice view. I like the way people can interact and reply back to each other and can easily tap on hearts and thumbs up and things like this. Uh, so I like it, really do. And uh, we're just starting to build ourselves out on LinkedIn. So uh, I'll put the profile down here. Please come and connect with us over on LinkedIn and let us know how you're getting on with it as well. But hopefully that's just got you going. And uh, I wanted you to just know that although it says LinkedIn there in Ecamp, you still do need to go through Restream, but the result is the same at the end of it. You've scheduled your event. You've got your comments coming back through. And now when I do my live, I don't need anything else open apart from Ecamm. Okay, so I hope that's been useful. Please check out the rest of this playlist if you haven't seen other videos. As ever, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.